Well, we talked about him last podcast. I, I really uh, here's the thing. I don't know I, if how much playing time he can challenge for, but I'm still kind of thinking that Marlon Tui Pelotu oh. is going to impress himself on his coaching staff. I think, again, his versatility, the fact that he can play a three technique, he can play a nose, he can probably play a five, he can do some different things. We didn't see the real Marlon Tui Pelotu last year because of his uh, hamstring injury that he had early on. And, um, you know, there's always injuries up front. So, you know, he's got to make the team. But I feel like if yeah. he does make the team, he'll figure out, they'll figure out a way to get him on the field there. Yeah, I would just – I'm with you. I, I, I believe he'll be the – I think they'll only keep five. Mm-hmm. And he'll be the fifth. I know people. I know some of the fans want No Ellis to make it. He's strictly a one positional guy. He does one thing: stop the run. It, I mean, they like him enough to bring him into camp. His brother's also in camp. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But maybe that's a, sort of a low end, low end battle for between uh, No Ellis and Tui Pelotu. Mm-hmm. 